Now we have a special treat. One of the legendary figures in Afro-Cuban percussion is with us here on Fundamento. Candido Camero was born April 22, 1921 in Havana, Cuba, in El, El Cerro district. His career actually started about the time that a form of Cuban music known as song was starting to become popular in Havana. We talked about the song before. He began performing first with a group called La Gloria Habanera, then he went on to a group called Jóvenes del Cerro, La Nacional Juvenil, Diseño Moderno, Conjunto Apolo. In that group, there was a young man named Mongo Santa Maria playing bongo, and Candido was featured not on congas, but on the Cuban stringed instrument, the tres. We talked about that before. It's a guitar with three sets of double strings or three sets of three strings. And of course, also, Candido got to perform with the great Arsenio Rodriguez, one of the founding fathers of the Son Montuno movement. Finally, in 1946, he came to New York City with the Cuban dance team called Carmen and Rolando. Since then, he's recorded with every major jazz and Latin artist in the world. Um, I've been very fortunate to have worked with him many times in concerts and in the recording studio. And he's here with us. An Fundamento. Bienvenido a Fundamento, Candido. Un placer tenerte aquí. Muchas gracias, muchas gracias, Bobby. Muchas gracias por invitarme y un placer para mí estar aquí contigo. Well, Candy, um, you came here in 1946, and in 1946, uh, I know that you started something that was very, very groundbreaking at the time. You started playing more than one conga drum. Before then, everybody just used to play one conga. Can you tell us how you started doing that? You were actually the first person ever to play more than one conga simultaneously. Well, I was in Cuba in a nightclub, a Faraon nightclub, and then also I went to Tropicana nightclub. So there was a dance team by the name of Carmen and Rolando. And I used to play the bass that time on the, in, the, in the group. But during the show, I was playing the quinto for the dance teams. Mm -hmm. So then they have a contract to come to United States, to New York City. And they said, well, we don't have a budget for conga and, and the quinto. So we had to only can take one, the one who uh, played the quinto. That was me. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, okay, if you're happy, the way I play the quinto for you, I'll, I'll be very happy to go with you. So without they know, I bought the conga. And when we, we fly from, from Cuba to United States, I have a conga and the quinto. So they asked me, what are you going to do with the conga? I said, no worry, no worry. I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to need that, and I'm going to use that. I wow, so can you show us what you did? Well, then, when they was dancing, I would do this. You know, it's exciting, uh, and I went so so surprised that I can keep the time on the conga right. and uh, and and quinteando en el en el quinto para marcarle los pasos. Right, uh, right, right. Two 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 things at I the same time. Yeah, right. So you really started developing independence. Yeah, right. Before like a lot of other people oh that yes, we know of well today. Uh, when That's when fantastic. when I first came here, everybody like you said before, yes, use one conga. Right. You know. Now I that know that good. you. Right. That I know good, that yeah, you've that developed some other techniques as far as independence before a lot of other people. I know you do things like doing three or four rhythms at the same time. Like, uh -huh. can you show, I see that you have a guido there. Can you show yeah, us what right. you do with that? Yeah, right, the guido, uh, when, when I play the cha-cha, uh -huh. so I can. <laughs> Fantastic, when did you start doing that? I was I started to do that 1955. Wow. 1955 I started with the three congas 
the Wiro and the Cowbird. So you actually started playing three congas also before anybody, right? Yeah, right, the three congas, uh, 1952. Wow. I started the three, the so three you play melodies then on, on the congas, almost like a piano, because I know you played bass, you yes. played guitar and tres, so you uh -huh. have a melodic concept. Yes. Can you show some of the, the types of things you do melodically with the congas? Well, for example... Anaba. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Tremendous, tremendous. And I know that you've done things like with six congas, five congas, etc., etc. Yeah, you I know. used to use six congas. Wow. But then uh, it was a little difficult to travel with all the time, so I, I, I decided to just take three, and I do the same job the, with the three congas. You know. Fantastic, yeah. fantastic. Well, we're going to play together right now. We're going to do a famous uh, tune that was a collaboration between a compatriot of yours, Luciano Chano Pozo, oh yes. who played congas with Dizzy Gillespie, right. and he collaborated with Dizzy Gillespie and uh, Walter Gil Fuller to compose a tune called Manteca. Can you yes. play us the melody of Manteca? Yeah. Yes. Tremendo, uh -huh. tremendo. So 